Hey guys, welcome to Lion Hermit Crab Educational Center. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about setting up a proper PPDS tank. Now PPDS stands for post-purchase death syndrome. Majority of us have purchased our hermit crabs from either a beach shop or even a pet store. And we know that they are being kept in poor conditions. So in order for us to help them adjust to their new environment, slowly at their own pace, we want to set up what we call a PPDS tank, um, which it'll help them adjust to their um, the temperatures and the humidity so that they don't stress during this time. This method usually takes about 30 days, depending on the crab or the crabs. Um, we wanna make sure that they are progressing. Um, the first two weeks, like I will mention in the rest of the video, this takes time for them to adjust. The first two weeks, they will most likely not be active at all. Um, so we wanna make sure that we're just letting them be, letting them take their time and adjusting. Their metabolic systems will adjust to the new temperatures and the humidity slowly. So that's the whole point of PPDS, so that they can acclimate to um, their new environment at their own pace. So for starters, hermit crabs require a proper setup. Now what they need is a glass tank. Most of us have rescued these crabs and they're coming from these little mesh um, tanks or cages and that is not something that they can be kept in for a long period of time. Now what they need is a glass tank. If your tank comes with a glass lid like this, a hinge lid, then that's perfect. This tank did not come with that. It came with a mesh lid, as you can see. So what you can do is just get some plastic wrap and just wrap it over the top of the lid like this. And I'll do it a few times and then you can take the edges along the side and this way it can hold all humidity that they need inside if you want to use something you have on hand you can find um, nice glass tanks and on facebook marketplace or even craigslist um, sometimes petco and PetSmart do throw their 50 percent off uh, sales so you can check that out it all depends on the time of year Next, they're going to need a UTH heat mat or what they call an under tank heat mat. Now, with hermit crabs, you don't want to place your heat mats under the tank. That will create the substrate to heat up and hermit crabs do go down to molt in the substrate and can burn themselves. So that is very dangerous. So you want to be able to focus on um, covering the 75% of the back wall. We say 75% because that is what it usually takes to heat up the heat, the, the tank the way that it should be. Now, depending on your winters and how cold it gets in your in your area you might want to do a full length uh, heat mat so 75 percent of the back wall should be covered you can find these heat mats on beam farm or even uh, reptile basics now when taping these heat mats you want to make sure that you're placing the heat mat at least one inch above the substrate just so that the heat does not dry out the substrate we want to create a perfect um, consistency so that the crabs can properly go down to mold so the sand does not collapse over them crabs will need proper light source now like i mentioned um you need to cover your lid with plastic wrap if you have a mesh lid. If you don't have a mesh lid and you have a glass lid, that's perfect. Either way, it will work just fine. What you're going to need is a proper light source. Now, hermit crabs require 12 hours daylight cycle, just like they get out in the wild. So you want to mimic what they have out in the wild. So we want to stay away from color lights. Color lights do stress the crabs out. So I like to use for my enclosures are the hogger aquarium lights. They are 
really made for plants but they are fantastic because you can run the daylight cycle setting and they will get daylight um, cycle which is the sunrise sunset so um, the night setting for the sunset it usually lasts about two hours after that it goes completely dark now let's go over substrate now for hermit crabs we're like i mentioned we're mimicking what they get out in the wild so in the wild hermit crabs do live in trees so they do like um to have trees and hides and in, for proper molting you want to give them what they have out in the beach which is sand now we mix it with cocoa fiber so they can maintain the moisture and humidity that they need in their enclosure and it's safe so what we're looking for is children's play sand you can find at home depot or lowe's and or even um, your local hardware stores depending on what kind of sand you find you don't want all purpose you don't want calcium sand calcium sands that is sold in pet stores will harden with moisture and your crabs can molt and they will get stuck in their shell and can pass so we want to avoid calcium sand it's not meant for them at all it's very dangerous so children's play sand you want five parts of that and one part cocoa fiber whatever you're using out to measure all you want for ppds in the beginning is just one inch of substrate no more than one inch because you don't want your hermit crabs to bury during this time like I mentioned, do you want your crabs to de-stress during this time to focus on eating proper nutritional foods and getting their strength back and adjusting to their new environment? So we don't want them to bury because most likely they're coming from poor conditions and being fed toxic food. You want to avoid pellet foods from the pet store because they are very harmful to our crabs and they will pass. So we want to avoid that completely. They can have plenty of foods when you're first starting out from your home um, they require 50 percent proteins i do have other videos on nutritional um, foods that they should be having you can check those out as well we do have approved sellers that do have um, mixes um, i like to put in one of just two old crabs little tin containers because they have tallow and they have a full mix of meal of every food group in there so they can have that you want to make sure that you're also feeding them staples staples are things that they should have available in their tank at all times so you want to be able to offer them uh, worm casting uh, organic green sand fertilizer you can find that in, online on amazon or even in your local um, plant department and calcium a sort of calcium you can use eggshells or even oyster shells and mix together so now most of our crabs well if we're purchasing them from a beach shop they're coming in painted shells painted shells are toxic to our hermit crabs so we want to avoid those painted shells we want to go with natural um turbo shells we say turbo because they are circled shells because our hermit crabs the majority of them do um prefer their turbo shells because they are purple pinchers and their abdomens don't fit comfortably in any other of the d-shape opening shells or those beautiful shells that we we see so we want to stick with the round opening shell and you want to make sure that you're placing inside the tank shells that are more or less the size of the crab if you want to measure them you can watch a video i have um, on how to do that properly next you want to be able to provide your hermit crabs with their proper safe water now they're going to need two kinds of water which will be uh, fresh water and one is going to be instant ocean water you can find instant ocean or even any marine grade salt um, that can be used for your hermit crabs um, at your local pet store even search online I do have a video on how to make your hermit crabs water safe you could check that out with more details so now these waters do need to be primed so this is dechlorinating drops removes heavy metals uh, chlorine and ammonia so you want to make sure that you are making your water safe for your hermit crabs 
With PPDS, you want to modify their heat and humidity gradually every week as they progress during the 30-day process. You want to start off with 75% heat and humidity depending on um, what condition they were kept in when you first purchased them. So you want to make sure that we're mimicking that and we start gradually um, raising temperatures and humidity inside their enclosure so they can adjust properly. You can find an article detailed on PPDS uh, and Crab Street Journal. So you can go on there online and check that out so it has more detail. You will need a digital gauge. This is a digital gauge where it reads the heat and the humidity in your enclosure. So you want to make sure that you have this at the center of the tank off of the substrate. If you do not have something like this, a shelf or something, you can place it on top of a container or Tupperware inside the tank so that you can keep it off of the substrate so that you can get an accurate reading. I like to put in healthy safe leaf litter and oils you can use beef tallow extra virgin olive oil um, and place some inside the tank you want to make sure that we're loading them with lots of nutritional things so during ppds you don't want any hides inside the tank we want to avoid them like i mentioned burying down into the substrate or even hiding and dying they're coming from poor conditions so we want to like i've mentioned and i cannot stress it enough we want them to focus on getting healthy enough so that they won't pass away you can add some moist moss on the back of the tank um, if they wanted to hide in that that's fine and they like to eat it it is safe for them as long as it's um, the natural sphagnum moss you want to stay away from any frog moss or um, reptile moss because those are called preserved moss you want to look for the beige kind you can find the zoo med um, at the pet stores even on amazon i purchased mine in a really big bag at home depot or even lowe's like i mentioned it has to be sphagnum moss and it usually is beige now to help increase your humidity in your tank weekly i like to add pools with bubblers these are 3d printed pools but not everyone can get these you can use tupperware which is the basic and you can add bubblers to them you can find this at your local um pet store with a valve i like to use the valves because you can adjust the humidity um the water pressure in the in the pools easily without having any issues in the beginning you might not need the bubblers because you want to focus on stabilizing the humidity so you can add the water pressure as you need to the tank if you're going to be using uh, rubber made containers you can find them at the dollar store you want to make sure you double them up so they don't leak you want to make sure that you're adding um, some um, river rocks you can find those also at the dollar store or even pebbles and place them inside the tank with some ramps or something that they can have easy access in and out of the pool so they don't get stuck in the pools and drown you want to keep it very basic for the crabs so that they can adjust no stress you don't want to handle them hermit crabs are nocturnal so during the day it is normal for them to sleep they will do their roaming around and coming out and eating during the night the first few weeks of PPDS, the crab will be de-stressing so they might not even come out for the first two weeks. They will hide and sleep as much as they can. Just let them be. As long as you do not smell any fishy odor in your tank then you I wouldn't worry about them having passed. You want to let them adjust to their new environment. So this is pretty much it guys. If you have any questions please feel free to leave it in the comments. What? <laughs>